We're here with your latest roundup, morning roundup. It is quarter to 11, so it's the morning roundup show. And, uh, Michael Beale is out talking. He's talking about John Souter, saying that he doesn't have a point to prove when he returns from injury. Of course, Souter only played the one game. That was against Livingston back in August and then got injured. Had personal issues as well. And you know what? If we can get John Souter fit, I mean... <laughs> I can't even remember what sort of deal he signed, right? How, like the length of contract, but if we could get Suter fit and not injured for like the four or three years, whatever he signed, I believe it probably would have been four, he's young enough, um, and he didn't get injured, he'd be like the best centre-back in the league, in my opinion. Like for Hearts there, like last year, he didn't really get injured that much, and I think he was probably the best centre-back in the country, up there at least, and I feel like consistency he would be he's very good you see that in his brother harry who doesn't really get injured and he was a star at the world cup so come on john big match john we've already john lundstrom in the team not a problem with adding a second john to the team but uh rangers target luca luca kerber has closed the door on any move to scotland this month after insisting he is concentrating on his club side the Sir Brooken midfielder, I'm reading this thinking, where the hell is Sir Brooken? But he was linked to a 1.25 million move to Ibrox after impressing this season for his club who play in the third tier of German football. Sir Brooken boss Rudiger Schiel revealed last week several European clubs were exploring a move for the 20-year-old and Rangers were among those credited with an interest along with Brighton and Loriente. But he's 18 months remaining on his deal and he doesn't have a release clause, so 1.25 million seems a bit weird. In my opinion, especially for a guy that's playing in the third tier of German football. Now, bear in mind he is twenty, so it doesn't. It's not as bad as it appears, uh, personally. But he says, however, I can completely rule out a transfer this season. He does go on to say, though, the international interest is a great honour for me, and also the results of my performances so far this season. I, but I mean, how? I mean, if someone's doing fucking wonders for East Fife in League One or whatever pish league League Fife are in, right? I don't know if it's League One or League Two. Or I'll be in Rovers. The great performance I've been doing this season. Am I supposed to mark out about that? No. Obviously, the, the third league in Germany is better than the uh, Scotland League One, but it is what it is. And we, we've got to, um, we've got to move on from it. But yeah, it looks like this guy's rejected Rangers, sadly. And uh, that brings us on to the final bit of morning news, and it is the daddy of George. Well, not the daddy of Georgie Hadji. Georgie Hadji, the daddy of Sharis Shanis. Yanis Hadji eases Rangers' expectations. Yanis Nears return. Come on, we need Yanis Hadji back, man. The guy's quality. He's advised Rangers fans not to expect his son Yanis to make an instant return to top form whenever he makes his injury comeback this month. Who was expecting that? Not me. Michael Beale stated he expects to see the Romanian international back on the pitch next month, but it was claimed last week by his former under-21 boss Florian Bratu that Hadji will actually return this month after speaking to the 24-year-old. Of course, big Georgie played for Real Madrid and Barca. Is pleaded for patience for his son after paying him a visit over the festive period. I was recently in Scotland to see Yanis, and he still work to do regarding full fitness. It's not easy to return to the form he had before his career after a year's break. Of course, it's not, because I thought Hadji was really good. I believe he got injured. Was it in that three 0 game? Was that? I think it was the three 0 game against uh, St Johnson. He got injured against. I'm being honest. I think it was. Just before, I think it's just before. I think it was like the fifteenth of December. I don't know why that sticks out in the head, like, but I think it was. But Hadji's quality. I mean, I know this is like an Arsenal finger thing to say when Arsenal didn't sign anyone and had a player back brought back from injury. And they went, oh, but getting the injured players back is like making a signing. And it was very cheap just to make the board look good. But in reality, this would be like making another signing because this guy's not been in the team for what over a year now, what thirteen months. So yeah, we need Hadji back, guys. But in terms of the other guy, he is a uh, rejected Rangers. And until next time, leave your thoughts down below. And peace.